Hi everyone. Um, I am currently eating my dinner, but I forgot to do an intro for this video again. So, uh, it's the beginning of my week and I am taking you guys along with me for a little bit of it. And then at the end of it, um, I made my dinner tonight. I have it right in front of me. I'm eating it right now. Um, but at the end, I will take you guys with me to Target to buy for dinner and then making dinner. Good morning, fam. I think that's what I'll say, fam. Um, we are on our way to work. Oh, it snowed last night, you can tell. Um, and apparently, it never snows in Seattle, so when it does snow, everything is shut down, like, yeah. They don't have, like, this is what I've heard, I don't know, but many people don't have snow tires, things of that nature, to be safe in the snow, so. Um, but we're on our way to work. It's Monday. It's gonna be a good week, I can feel it. So, as I was saying, um, I'm on my home, I'm on, on my home, on my way home from work. And I'm here at the market. go to Target like every day now. A couple because they only have these bags. They don't have anything bigger. They make like bags with, I mean a handle. They put a handle on your box and then you can carry it like that. How cool. Also, it was time to get some. I even got knives because a butter knife just wasn't cutting it anymore. <laughs> Cutting it. Hi. So, I found this out not too long ago and I thought it was pretty cool, so I'm gonna share with you guys. You know the old, like, regular way to open a can? So I'm making my dinner right now and it calls for white beans. And how you open it usually this way and then blah 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 well let's see if it works because i haven't tried it yet somebody told me oh no maybe this way somebody told me if you do it this way did it this way now usually you get like the sharp part of the thing of the lid well there's no sharp well I guess it is sharp if you're not careful but it's less dangerous cool right and then you're left with this which is sharp so I guess keep it away from your kids but yeah Cool little trick of the day. Hi guys. So I am on my way to the grocery store. We have $14 in cash that I'm gonna try to spend on dinner tonight. So I figured I'd take you guys along with me so I can put this video up, hopefully before the weekend. We can either go to the market or to Target. I feel like the market is more expensive, but better quality. Hmm. So I've decided to come to um, Target because I passed a lady on my way here and she told me that the market 
well, most of the vendors at the market were closed because everything closes here when the weather gets bad, so we're in Target. All right, so we spent 46 cents more than um, we were supposed to, but that's okay because I always have change, so we did not have to swipe our card. So, <clears throat> I am, what is the correct term? Chopping some garlic up? Chopping, dicing, I don't know, but some garlic. I bought, I usually only like chicken breast, but I bought chicken thighs. Um, so I'm gonna make chicken thighs, probably just one. Um, or maybe I'll make them all and just have them there and done. Spinach and carrots and um, probably some tomatoes on the side or something. Again, something I just do how I know. Not a professional. So, probably 572 ways to cut garlic, but this is how I do it. Probably not the right way. Another trick, trick, trick that I learned sort of is to use the back of your knife to pick up your stuff so that your blade doesn't um, get dull. Bring it up with the back of my knife, putting it in there, bam, bam, bam. All good, good stuff. Who washes their chicken before? Some people wash with vinegar, lime, lemon. We don't have any of that. So, water it is. Oh, we're going to, I don't know, these, this fat stuff, I just don't like it on the chicken, so I'm gonna quickly cut that off. So I cut the, what I thought was yucky off of the chicken. Um, now I'm going to season it. I really made this more for my spinach, but I'm gonna use some of these onions and garlic. So I think I'm just going to um, bake it again. Just the cheap stuff, so regular salt. Mm -hmm. I don't really like pepper, so I'm not gonna put pepper. Or you know what, I will. I just won't put a lot. Ooh, Italian, okay. So my favorite like chicken seasoning, like all in one chicken seasoning is, um. Uh, something with an M. Oh my goodness. Uh, Mo Montreal. Montreal chicken seasoning that I think McCormick makes. Um, but the store didn't have any. You guys tell this is the first time I'm making anything. So just I don't know until I think it's enough. Seasoned salt. We'll do that too. Again. Can you tell this is the first time that I'm cooking? I don't know. Until I see that it's enough, I guess. Some olive oil. I guess I should have put that first. A tablespoon maybe. Oh, the oven. I should probably put that on, huh? 350. Why not? So I don't have a like cookie pan thing just yet. So I made like a pan type thing with the out of aluminum foil by just bending the sides and you know, just so that just in case the juices don't run out or whatever. Um, so I'm going to transfer that into or onto this all right so i'm going to put um these 400 degree oven um 
So now I'm going to cut my carrots and spinach. I like like all my food super small, even though this is gonna wilt. Um, I don't know, I'm weird about that. So I'm gonna cut these. This says that um, it's thoroughly washed already. It says it's somewhere here. But I have trust issues, so I'm gonna wash this again. Let in a sister or brother, no, you know? But now we're gonna add our spinach. Oops. Let's see. Okay. And this will wilt that one. So, yeah. So, because I'm not necessarily, um, I mean, I'm trying to do like low carb. If you're doing keto, tomatoes are a no no. But I love tomatoes so much. So I'm going to add this as a side. First, we got to rinse because trust issues. So before when I would like, um, I don't know, I used to like watch my nutrition pretty closely. I would count all the stuff um, in my fitness pal, but I'm not doing that tonight because this is my first meal of the day and it's like six, so. So for my tomatoes, I usually put like salt and vinegar on it, but we don't have vinegar, so. Um, I bought this dressing for some salads that I made a couple days ago. Um, so I'm just gonna put it, it's like a balsamic vinaigrette. And it's not horrible on carbs. Two tablespoons, we're gonna use less than that, so. tomatoes but I really like them that much chicken spinach that is good um, but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this let me know because this is something super easy that I could do and to be honest I'm getting kind of fluffy I was looking at the videos and I'm not like liking the way that I look so it's probably time to get back on a stricter regimen um, so if you like seeing these even if you want to see some keto videos or whatever, please let me know. Text me, comment, whatever. Just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon.